Welcome to our course. Let's start our course by answering this question. What is a computer network? The definition of a computer network is simply as follows. It's a group of computers that are sometimes called hosts or nodes and a group of computer peripherals that are all connected together via transmission media and some connecting devices. All of these elements form what we call a computer network. The types of computers have changed. Nowadays we have laptops, tablets, smart mobile phones. We used to have only personal computers or PCs that were also called desktop computers. Nowadays we have others that are mobile and that can transfer and send and receive information over the network. Every single human can now be connected to a computer network through PCs, through laptops, tablets, smart mobile phones and through what is called embedded systems inside some of the electrical or mechanical machines. Yes, some of these machines can send and transfer and exchange data and information between each other transparently without the interference or the interaction of the human user in order to offer a certain service for him with his minimal or with the least interaction from his side. This concept is known as Internet of Things. Internet of Things allows things, machines, to exchange information between each other in order to offer a certain service required by human users. The peripherals that can be connected to a computer are simply the hardware, the printers, the scanners, the storage media. All of these are called peripherals. These peripherals can also be connected to a computer network as senders and as receivers of information and orders from the computer users to execute something that he wants to be done. Printers, scanners and storage media can be directly connected to the computer network and be part of it to act as sources and destinations of data being transferred. If we have a look inside a cloud computing or a data center, we can see some servers, some storage devices and some terminals that are used for managing and configuration of the devices inside this cloud computing or data center. All of these can be seen as connected through transmission media in a local network inside the center to offer a certain type of service required by the computer user, either infrastructure as a service or platform as a service or software as a service. This newly introduced concept is known as the cloud computing concept and that is mainly depending on computer networks. The transmission media. The transmission media used by a computer network can be the wired media, the cables, or the wireless media using air as the transmission media. The wired media, the cables, can be made of copper or can be made of fiber optic. Copper cables can either be coaxial cables or twisted pair cables and in turn the twisted pair cables can either be shielded cables or unshielded cables either STP shielded twisted pair or UTP cables unshielded twisted pair. The fiber optic cables does not transmit electricity it transmits light. Light moves in the fiber optic cables in the form of single mode light or multi mode light. The difference between single mode and multi mode is in the capacity and the speed of this cable. 
The wireless transmission media using air depends mainly on a specified frequency band and a certain area or distance of coverage. Every wireless technology differs from the other in the utilized frequency band and the utilized area of coverage or the distance between the sender and the receiver covered by this wireless network. Every wireless technology has a named band and a limited and known area of coverage to transfer data across. The benefit of connecting computers through a network mainly lies in resources sharing. Resources either hardware or software. Hardware resources like the computer preference, printers, scanners, and other peripherals that can be connected to computers can also be shared through a computer network. One copy of a printer can serve 10 users instead of buying 10 copies of printers to serve these 10 users. We here save money, save cost, save effort, and also save time through one copy of the hardware that can be shared to many users. The storage media can act in the same way. One storage media can store for several users. The processing power. One supercomputing multiprocessor server can help in the processing of several computers if shared through the network. The software resources that can be shared through the network can be a file that can be copied and pasted over the network, that can be shared between two devices over the network. It can be a database, database of students that can be shared through professors, database of employees shared through the company accounting department to calculate their salaries and their bonuses. Applications also can be shared over the network. They are also software resources. An example of an application, the simplest example, is a game. A game that can be played by several users over the network. This is an application that is used over the network by several users and in real time. Services. Services that can be offered over the network can be the browsing service, searching for information over the network, and exchanging email messages across the users of the network. These are the most commonly used services. Also establishing voice calls and video conferences over the network are one of the common uses of a computer network inside an enterprise. The basic network elements are mainly the end devices. These are the communicating devices, the senders and the receivers, the sources and the destinations of information. These are the target of the network to communicate with each other. Other devices exist inside the network as intermediate devices, as connecting devices, such as the switches, the routers and the access points. Such devices are not meant to be sources or destinations of information, but they are acting as transferring entities for the information to help or facilitate the moving process of these information across the network. The medium used through the information network specifies how these devices are connected. Are they connected in a wired way or in a wireless way? Are they going to use the cables or the air as the media of connection? Messages. The messages are the information that are needed to be traveling through the network, needed to be transferred, needed to be communicated from the sender to the receiver. Messages are also the target of the existence of computer network. We establish computer network to transfer messages across the end devices through human users. The protocols of a computer network 
rules and governs how the information is transferred. The protocols are the agreements and are the standards that every device, either connecting or end device, should follow and should take care of when dealing with information inside the computer network. Hopefully we have now answered what a computer network is. Thank you.